Hey everybody, this is Sean B. Bradley, CEO of Dealer Synergy, and you know what time it is. Come on, say it with me. It is Make Money Mondays. What time is it? It is Making Money, and this is Sean B. Bradley. I'm the host with the most. All right, let's get into it. Today, we're going to talk about the most important thing that you're going to need to make money. What is it? It's you. You need you to be successful. You need to have an incredible attitude. You cannot be successful. You can't make money if you are doubtful, if you are worrisome, if you have a piss poor you know, perspective of life. It's not going to happen. You know what's a shame is that people say that money isn't everything. And I agree with you, but you know what? Money gives you freedom to be able to do things, experience things legally, morally, ethically, disclaimer, okay? So what I want you to do is think this. You have to focus on having a I can do it attitude. Nothing bad happens to me attitude. No matter what happens to the dealership. Sean, why are you talking about this today? Here's why. In the last week, I've had several different situations where people have come to me and said, oh my God, what am I gonna do? And I, I just laugh because I think of you know the whole Franklin Covey training and um, Dr. Covey talks about the circle of influence versus circle of concern and I've talked about this a lot of times. There's certain things that you cannot control. Let's start with other people. You cannot control other people unless you duct tape somebody to a chair, but that's illegal. See what I'm saying? You can't do it. So the idea is this. If you can't control what other people are going to do, what they're going to say, what they're going to think, then how are you going to drive yourself crazy? Let me be specific. I have a new protege, a sales consultant that works at a Honda dealership, and he was just telling me about all the craziness that goes on at his dealership. And this is a very positive guy, and he's not letting it get to him, but I, I hear it influencing him and his attitude and his ideas about how he's going to be successful. And I'm reminding him, I'm like, listen, you cannot focus on what other salespeople are doing in your dealership. You cannot focus on the little huddle and the complaints and the bitch sessions that they're having about the manufacturer, about customers. You know, specifically, even further, he was telling me that one of the top salespeople, you know, was actually throwing stuff in the showroom, you know, not in front of everybody, but like off to the corner, was throwing this, throwing that, because he sold 20 plus cars the month before, but this month, he was complaining that he didn't sell anything. And then this guy that I was just telling you about, he basically says to him, he's like, do you think it's your piss poor attitude? Ding, 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 ding. If you have a crappy attitude, if you're angry and pissed off or worried, don't you think that's going to drip onto your customers and your prospects? you got to believe this. Sales is about transference of energy or the lack thereof. What I mean by that is if you're excited about something, if you're passionate about something, and you are, let's be specific, if you are passionate and excited about your dealership and your product, and you're engaging a prospect, and you're able to convey, articulate, um, and kind of just you know, put that mind magic on them, it's because you had that transference of energy. But I'm telling you, if you're worried about your bills, about your light bill, if you're worried about, you know, what that person said or how that person feels about you or this manager can't get this closed, if you're just stressed out, you don't think that's going to drip onto the, the prospect of the customers? Of course it will. What you want to be able to do is try to control and train your thoughts. Thoughts become things. Watch your words. Words become things. Now, I know I'm going lightning fast because this is Make Money Mondays and I only got a couple minutes to get you focused for this week, but I'm going to repeat those two statements because they're beautifully accurate. Thoughts become things. Words become things. Just like an athlete has to train and condition their muscles, just like a, um, a musician has got to train to be a, a classical you know, um, I don't know, pianist, you've got to train your mind for success. If you weren't born rich and successful and wealthy and prosperous, what do you think it's just magically going to happen because you watch Make Money Monies? No, you've got to train yourself. You've got to condition yourself. You've got to remind yourself. Think of an all-star athlete, an Olympic. That's a great, I could bring that visual to you, right? An Olympic athlete for a triathlon. What that athlete has to do as far as cardio, weight training, diet, conditioning, motivation. I mean, like there's so many different variables that are happening to get that person just ready for the idea. Forget about the reality, just the idea of, of actually being in the Olympics. 
And then to be able to be a contender within the Olympics, and Lord help me, to be a gold medalist. What? Think about that. That's the same damn way you need to engage your life and your career. You need to turn around and think of yourself in the Olympics of your life, of your success. Change your, your, your thought patterns. You cannot, do you think a, a, like a gold medalist is going to constantly doubt themselves and complain about the judges or complain if you're an American gold medalist, complain about Germany or China, the different countries and all this other stuff? Where's it going to get them? Haters don't prosper, in my opinion. Hating is a weak emotion. Anger, fear is a weak emotion. It's not needed in business. You ever heard people say this is just business? Because you need to get the emotions out. You need to focus on how you're going to be successful. Again, remember that Olympic athlete. You need to turn around and think of yourself in the Olympics of life in your career. Do not let negativity enter your mind. Do not let other craziness influence you on what you say and what you think. I can't stress this enough. If you want to be successful, if you want to make money, you have to have the attitude for success. You have to have the vocabulary for success. You have to have the dedication and the staying power for success. Anybody could say, ah, I'm going to be successful. Very few people actually get there. Why? Because there's distractions. There's pitfalls. There's obstacles all throughout the way. You need to be able to get out of that. So again, Stay focused. If you want to make money this week and this month, please make sure that you're checking your attitude. Remember that words become things, thoughts become things. If you want to be successful, if you want to make money, then you have to have that proper vision. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching this week's episode of Make Money Mondays. If you like this week's episode of Make Money Mondays, you're going to love all the content on automotive digital training. So please go to AutomotiveDigitalTraining.com and sign up today. And if you've got any questions, please feel free to call me on my cell phone at area code 267-319-6776. Yes, that's really my cell phone. Don't put it on any bathrooms or anything. Thank you. Bye.